On the most westerly blasket, in a dry stone hut, he got this air out of the night. Strange noises were heard by others who followed, bits of a tune coming in on loud weather, though nothing like melody. He blamed their fingers and ear as unpractised, their fiddling easy, for he had gone alone into the island and brought back the whole thing. The house throbbed like his full violin. So whether he calls it spirit music or not, I don't care. He took it out of wind off mid-Atlantic. Still he maintains from nowhere. It comes off the bow gravely, rephrases itself into the air. 